गुरु प्रणामंद नम ओम विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी की नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिण निर्विशेष सुनने वाली पाश्चात्य देश धारिणी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कथाधर शिवा शादी और भक्ति हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सेवया Translation: Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because they have seen the truth. So here in this chapter, Krishna talking about transcendental knowledge. to arjuna what happened earlier when arjuna asked question to shri krishna then out of mercy krishna started telling him this transcendental knowledge and if we see this bhagavad gita chapter then we see that on and on krishna is speaking and in this verse and also our today topic is the path of self uh, path of spiritual realization how many you have seen the topic today Okay, so what is the topic today? <laughs> yes. So in this verse, we are going to discuss about this only. Okay. So this is very actually easy when we are reading Shri Prabhupada books. It becomes very very easy for us and for anybody, even somebody who is new. It becomes easy for him also. So why you are not uh, people coming ahead and is, uh, sit on these chairs? Actually, these chairs are empty, so it's not looks good. You can come ahead. man prabhu you can come ahead here and you can sit here yes so anybody who are reading shri prabhupad books i was mentioning that it, it becomes easy very very easy so 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 many people actually they go for spiritual realization they are hankering for some some spiritual realization but not hankering with a proper mood they are not getting the proper direction okay so like uh, we can say that uh, so many people they they go to the bogus gurus right they are in market right now there are so many bogus guru upcoming and in the media like the yug of social media we can say the age of social media it is it becomes very easy to uh, to attack with so many gurus but i still as per my experience i i will share uh, like about my experience also that it's not good actually only by reading prabhupad books one may be the spiritual one may get the spiritual realization so let's discuss what prabhupad written in purport and one by like read by reading one by one line we will discuss and we will see by examples also that how prabhupad easily gave us a very very secret truth in his books in his purports okay so more of us we are going to discuss about prabhupad also like prabhupad only like how he has uh, lived his life and also how he gave the example to put those example put those realization in our lives so we are going to benefit in that way also the path of spiritual realization in uh, is undoubtedly difficult okay there is no doubt that it's very very difficult but the lord therefore advises us to approach a bona fide spiritual master in the line of discipline disciplic succession from the lord himself we see that when we send our children in school and colleges so we we ourselves also we find the right college right teacher to teach so so that we can get the right what knowledge and we can becomes very nice doctor and engineer and so called whatever going on in the material 
life or material situation but what we see when when it comes to a uh, matter of uh, bhakti and spiritual knowledge then we we take the cheap cheap things okay we uh, we like that okay jo bhi mil gaya usko utha lo market se jo bhi sasta hai dikh gaya hare 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 krishna kuch bhi kahin se bhi mil gaya usko utha lo we, we, we don't hanker that oh it should be also bona fide it should be also from the right direction so that only we can get benefit by the proper mood so the thing is no one can be a bona fide spiritual master without following the principle of discipline discipline succession now the next line see how to one mention that no one can be no one can be a bona fide spiritual master and now so many people are telling that i am a spiritual master i am the guru i am the guru there are so many people so so many people as i mentioned there are so many people coming out but how can we uh, that people can become guru okay let's example any person can coming to you and telling that oh i am the prime minister are you going to believe no na right but many people are coming telling oh i can become your guru now you thinking oh he is very nice he can uh, maybe he is really guru you should inquire na that what is the quality of guru and how you are guru you can ask this question but but we are very fortunate actually let's let's talk about this also that we are very very fortunate that after many many millions of earth actually we are here and discussing about this first of all so we should thankful to this uh, whatever we we say uh, we we thankful actually to his grace adbhut hari prabhu that he is giving us a chance and similarly shila prabhu bhat that by his mercy we are discussing these things otherwise nobody is going to discuss things recently i i went to my home town and i saw there are also there are so many bogus things are going i i cannot even discuss those things what's going on there is it so so the thing is we should inquire about the guru so this is also the topic of today and also the krishna telling in his instruction to arjuna that first you should inquire about the guru and who is that guru bona fide spiritual master bona fide spiritual spiritual master and what is the characteristic of a bona fide spiritual master now we can talk so we know that uh, there is one verse and this is telling that krishna vande jagat guru you ever uh, you people ever heard this krishna vande jagat guru krishna is the jagat guru for all living entity and how is that because he is the supreme first of all and the second he is the creator of all the universe and similarly when we purchase some electronic products like mobile uh, this laptop or something like that electronic products then we get manual for that right the similarly the creator has given us like who has created us who has created us krishna right through brahma he has created actually but actually our creator is krishna only so so similarly that creator krishna has given us our manual and which is this bhagavad gita okay so now we are discussing this bhagavad gita and in this bhagavad gita krishna telling arjuna that how he can how he should fight the battlefield of kurukshetra similarly in our life the battlefield of kurukshetra is going on not exactly kurukshetra but still there are so many battle in our life is going on so the point is that who is the bona fide spiritual master so the one who assigned by krishna himself is the bona fide spiritual master okay so we can see that our we are following in in iskon we are following the discipline succession which is telling uh, which is which means guru parampara so krishna told this very very uh, essential like uh, very very secret knowledge to whom first no 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 before that krishna brahma ji and then brahma ji uh, like brahma ji ne kisko bola narad and narad ji ne hmm 
ब्यास देव एंड सिमिलरली ब्यास देव ने आगे ऐसे करते करते हमारी गुरु परंपरा में देन चैतन्य महाप्रभु के समटाइम व्हाट हैपेंड दिस डिसिप्लिन सक्सेशन ब्रोकन देन कृष्णा हिमसेल्फ अपीयर्स सो कृष्णा अपीयर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड देन अगेन ही एस्टैब्लिश दिस एंड देन बाय चैतन्य महाप्रभु other six gurus swami came and then later on shil bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur came and from bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur our own shil prabhupad got this knowledge through parampara and through shil prabhupad we are also getting so we are getting this knowledge from directly from krishna so what is the first condition for a spiritual uh, progress to find a bona fide you can note it down to find a bona fide spiritual master this is our first and what is second let's read ahead the lord is the original supreme spiritual master and a person in the disciplic succession can convey the message of the lord as it is to his disciple no one can be spiritually realized by manufacturing his own process as is the fashion of the foolish pretenders i was just re- hearing uh, like uh, reading one quote from a bogus guru like uh, you know in the age of social media and also also in the age of whatsapp our so many friends are there following so many things so sometimes they put on their whatsapp status so he was telling he was mentioning that how he was just giving example of a material thing and he was just adding and was deeply telling some meaning out of it actually there is no meaning from that like material thing he was uh, mentioning and there is no meaning from that but actually people are following him as a guru because he is mentioned something and just it looks good it looks good in here reading and sometime in in telling also it's good and so people are thinking oh he is guru and he is a big guru actually he is a big guru so but the here what prabhupad mentioned no one can manufacture no one can be spiritually realized by manufacturing his own process no one can be actually we see that our mind and our senses are very limit very limited actually they have very limited uh, um, vision to understand things to process things okay so that that way we cannot understand the actually which is divine our senses are material and we cannot pursue the divine things so that's what prabhupad uh, written here the bhagavatam says dharm dharmam tu sakshat bhagavat pranitam the path of religion is directly enunciated by the lord therefore mental speculation or dry arguments cannot help lead one to the right path so many people again they are just mental expect uh, mental expect speculation they are doing and thinking or oh, they are doing something good like some somebody doing some uh, some they are providing some benefit to some other people by something like doing hospital and some 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 some, some something something like that but actually that is only dry arguments okay so nor by independent study of books of knowledge can one progress in spiritual life and also uh i think yesterday only in uh, temple hall there is a big speaker he was giving the class and he was telling before coming into krishna consciousness he has read prabhupad book so many times okay so many times he has read but he didn't understand even one verse of bhagavad gita so this is prabhupada has written so you may think that oh this is the bhagavad gita na isi bhagavad gita se to log pad rahe hain bol rahe hain they are thinking and they are telling whatever so i can also take this book and i can happily reading this book at my home and understanding all the things but that is not also going to happen okay so you have to understand this one has to approach a bona fide spiritual master to receive the knowledge one has to uh, approach bona fide spiritual master such a spiritual master should be accepted in full surrender and one should serve the spiritual master like a menial servant without false prestige okay before we we go on this topic so uh, uh, i was uh, telling you that uh, the first point that which is what inquire uh, like uh, find the spiritual uh, bona fide spiritual master so i was reading back in 2015 
द बुक ऑफ हिज होलीनेस राधानाथ स्वामी महाराज जर्नी बैक होम यू एवर हर्ड अबाउट दिस बुक सो सो मे बी यू हैव रीड सो यू नो समथिंग बट इट इज अटोरी ऑफ अमेरिकन साधु who left his house at the age of 19 and he left not india he left chicago he was in chicago and he came in india he came to india and he was looking something spiritual he realized that oh there is some god or something some energy or something he was thinking within his mind and for that purpose he left his home and he has given one footnote to his home that oh by the mercy of uh, lord i may survive and then i will return uh, i will write back to you if i will alive or something like that otherwise don't don't think that i will be uh, uh, i will be there coming back so he left india and he was all the way delhi he was following ganga you know ganga ganga is coming from are <laughs> ganga is coming from gangotri is in himalaya okay so he went to ganga following the ganga he went to gangotri and there he met so many sadhus actually throughout like uh, uh, matlab ganga ke kinare dono taraf agar dekhoge aap jaake so everywhere there are so many sadhus practicing their own spiritual life so he was going and meeting so many sadhus okay all the way from delhi to he went to gangotri and gangotri also he lived for i think one two months and there he met so many sadhus and also he met one sadhu who gave him the coping he was wearing the jeans and some t-shirt kind of things and hat so that sadhu came from himalaya it was very cold actually that sadhu, those sadhu lives in very cold places right so it was very cold in gangotri and where he got that coping from one sadhu and that that then he wear that coping and then he was coming back but still he was thinking that these can these sadhus cannot be my guru because he was not getting that uh, inspiration actually so what happened so uh, on the way he met uh, group of sadhus where he lived for 7 days and those group was were thinking that those people are thinking now this like this devotee can uh, be with us and he will also take uh, this uh, dicha or whatever they were doing so he will be with us for a long time he, they were thinking like that but very folded head radhanath mara said that uh, this is not coming uh, from my heart that you people cannot be my guru like radhanath mara directly told them that you cannot be my guru and then in uh, uttar pradesh when he came and he got this news that oh, i arrived it was uh, late 70 like not let's when beginning 70 1970 and he got this news at prabhupad there is one sadhu who went to west and he preaches and now the west people are coming to india and they are doing this uh, hari krishna mahamantra so he all the way he came to bombay to meet shila prabhupad and maybe you might heard this bombay cross festival you know so in 1972 in bombay prabhupad organized a big pandal program in uh, cross maidan so radhanath maharaj came there he met shil prabhupad then shil prabhupad told him come to meet me in this jo okay so maharaj came and he met shil prabhupad so one interesting thing maharaj has big big hairs okay so so many sadhus advise him to cut your hairs okay cut his hairs but uh, maharaj was not listening all those things he was thinking oh this is my hair but the very day when he met prabhupad the by the, that evening he saved his hair and he decided that oh this is my guru so now you can think how he how he think that oh he he is my guru now within one day by meeting by meeting after meeting shri prabhupad so in the same way we can understand and maharaj also written and this is the place and i was reading this book in back in 2015 and i thought oh i don't need to go all the way to gangotri and all I, i will directly go to this place and i will see that how is that place where one american sadhu came and interestingly not in kashi banaras like kashi vrindavan he mentioned so many places because he visited every places every uh, holy places of india almost he visited and he didn't get his spiritual realization but when he met prabhupad 
here in Bombay where we are discussing this. So this is important to understand, to know us. So, so I was thinking that, oh, I will go to see this place and I, I, I also came here. And you can see that I'm also here. So this uh, first uh, has happened. Such a spiritual master should be accepted in full surrender without false prestige. So I was reading Prabhupada Lilamrit and also the same thing I was reading in I will build you a temple. So in that books, uh, uh, actually this uh, I will build you a temple written by His Holiness Giriraj Swami Maharaj. So why I am mentioning this? Actually to understand this topic, we have to take the example of devotees. The devotees who have surrendered their whole life to Srila Prabhupada and by surrendering Srila Prabhupada, they directly they have directly surrendered their whole life to Sri Krishna. And this Bhagavad Gita is telling by Sri Krishna only. Right? And Sri Krishna telling to Arjuna. And when we are discussing this, as I mentioned, battle is all the time going in our mind outside also. When, uh, where we are living, where we are walking, where we are going on, everywhere our battle is going on. May, so many people have came by local trains also, right? So in local trains, we know there is no uh, value of life. Am I telling something wrong? Actually, it is very sad, sad but uh, it is true. So that's why we are discussing that we can get something by by discussing those devotees example who have with Prabhupada for their whole life and also they have made their life successful how so that why while discussing um, after discussing maybe we we can also get some inspiration and also we can live our life in such a way that also after five year ten year we can say oh this life we have we have got something. Otherwise, all the things going on. Okay, maybe I might not be a good speaker, but the message what uh, uh, the message which we are discussing is very very important actually. So many people they are good speaker, they are good editor, but they are not discussing the right thing. But here we are discussing the right thing. Our own our own life depends on this message. Okay, so next. Next is the example. Uh, next is the surrender. So His Holiness Giriraj Maharaj was uh, in, uh, in charge of this temple when this temple was about to construct and was constructing. He, Prabhupada made him the temple president back in 1974. So, so uh, His Holiness Giriraj Maharaj also he was very young age that time, and uh, he was uh, he was from a very rich family. From West, he was a very rich family, and after living here one year, he went to his home. And their parent was uh, they, do, they they are not in the mood of sending him out because they were very rich, and he was very he was a single child. Okay, so they were thinking like this: this Swami, they were mentioning Shri Prabhupada, what he has done to our child that he has become he has gone mad. So they they took him. To the psychiatrist, and, uh, and they were mentioning that he become mad and all. So please treat him. So what happened? After one hour, doctor came to his parents, Giriraj Swami Maharaj's parents, and doctor told his parents that please take your child back home. Otherwise, <laughs> your child will make me Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So so he was discussing because this Hare Krishna. And but 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 he was thinking that oh this is uh, these are my parents within his mind it was going on and what we should do and then again Prabhupada met him in Los Angeles and there Prabhupada instructed him go back back to Bombay so this is a bank Bombay and the temple was constructing and there like here it was a very need of devotees so Prabhupada sent him back and he, he was thinking then then Prabhupada again came to Bombay. And what happened? Prabhupada was sitting and here, like very, like that time, where very poor people were living, especially Malla, Malla, So they were living. So what happened? But still, still those people are very pious. So one one person came 
by one evening person, one person came to Silpra Upad and he offered some flower to Silpra Upad and this offer obeisances and then he went back. So Giriraj Maharaj was thinking within his mind to see that this is uh, this innocent person. He is even illiterate because he was very very kind of mala, you know how he looks. So Maharaj was thinking like, but still he has surrendered to this. Like Shri Prabhupada, he, he was thinking like this. And but I am here from so many years, like two, three years from, he was from here. So he was thinking that he still have not surrendered. So he was thinking like that. And that day, the same day, he thought that, oh, what whatever is happening, whatever will happen, I will see, but I will surrender to Shri Prabhupada. And then and the next day, he discussed this to Shri Prabhupada and Shri Prabhupada. And I just recently was listening Giriraj Maharaj. This two three days back in Vrindavan, he was uh, uh, like giving a uh, like short speech on Prabhupada disappearance day. So he was telling that within two three minutes, Prabhupada discussed with Prabhupada, and he, Prabhupada gave a straight line to his whole life. That two three minute discussion, Prabhupada given the whole life, like given the uh, you can say. मतलब पूरे जीवन में उनको क्या करना था श्री प्रभुपाद ने उनको बता दिया सो दिस इज दुनाफाइड स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर यू डोंट हैव टू हैंकर मोर एंड मोर वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम यू रियलाइज यू यूर ऑन द राइट पाथ यू आर ऑन द राइट प्लेस सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइज स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर इज द सेक्रेट ऑफ एडवांसमेंट इन स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ इंक्वायरीज एंड सबमिशन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द प्रॉपर कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर स्पिरिचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग unless there is submission and service inquiries from the learned spiritual master will not be effective now first one is the what finding and then the second one is the surrender and the third one is what inquiry inquiry you have to inquiry it it's not like that you uh, you are going to guru and whatever he is telling you are following that's also great actually in one sense but that is worse in this another sense because some false guru is there and he whatever he is telling you are just going to follow then it's going to be a bogus sometime you have to ask not sometime actually every time you have to ask the questions why that you should know something in a better way then only you can tell others right so, suppose we are putting this tilak and we are going outside somebody ask why you are putting this tilak and if we don't know the importance of putting the tilak then what will we say to him right inquiry is very very important so inquiry and this this is not i am telling to you not shri prabhupada directly telling to you. this telling like this is telling uh, krishna is telling to us directly and we can see the inquire from him submissively pari prashnena sevaya we read this verse right pari prashnena seva means this only you have to ask question then only you understand the truth okay so let's go ahead unless there is submission and service inquiries from the learned spiritual master will not be effective once you have to ask the question and then it is going to be in a, a effective way i have just now given the example of putting tilak in the same way there are so many things right why we chanting hare krishna we can ask this also right because we are chanting and so many people ask us also why you chanting this this mantra every time what is the benefit of this and actually you are wasting your time earlier we were we even were thinking like this only like uh, this hari krishna mahamantra is chanting so so i i was just reading reading chaitanya charita amrita so chaitanya mahaprabhu very beautifully he has mentioned in like um, it's came actually and i was also very like it so i i, I just want to tell you किवा मंत्र दिला गोसाई किवा तारा बल जपीते जपीते मंत्र करीला पागल तो दिस मंत्र इज वेरी पावरफुल एक्चुअली दिस वाज अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड प्रकाशानंद सरस्वती इन बनारसी एक्चुअली मे बी यू पीपल हैज लाइक नो दिस स्टोरी सो दे वर डिस्कसिंग सो प्रकाशानंद सरस्वती वाज अ ग्रेट स्कॉलर ऑफ वेदांत फिलॉसफी सो ही वाज आस्किंग व्हाई यू चैंटिंग दिस मंत्र जस्ट कम एंड रीड वेदांत सूत्र भी दस so uh, chatan mahaprabhu told that we uh, actually i am the fool i don't know anything just because my guru told me to chant this mantra i am chanting this mantra and i don't know anything else apart from this and in the next verse uh, chatan mahaprabhu said 
Rizki Ba Mantra Dile Gosai. My dear Lord, what kind of mantra have you given me? I have become mad simply by chanting this Maha Mantra. So, somebody who is chanting 16 rounds. So, how many people are chanting 16 rounds here? Oh, very, very less crowd actually. It's not good. We should chant this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So, let's chant together. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, in Kali Yuga, just by chanting this Mahamantra, we can get the spiritual realization. And today is the topic the same. So, in Brihad Narani Puran, it is mentioned, what is the verse? Kalo Nastu, Kalo Nastu, Gatiranata. Okay, I'll forget. Ha, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eo Kevalam, Kalo Nastev, Kalo Nastev, Gatiranata. In the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, there is no way to get to get the spiritual benefit. There is only one way to get, and what is that? Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eo Kevalam. So, just by chanting the mantra, this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, you can get the ultimate benefit of your life. So the conclusion has given in one mantra and as you enter in this temple, this is called temple, anywhere across the globe, you will hear this mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So once you read and once you realize, then you will able to understand the glories of Srila Prabhupada, how beautiful he has given all the things to us. Then we will understand this. So for understand this, we have to come here. We have to come here and then we have to read this Bhagavad Gita. We have to chant this mantra. Today is the Ekadasi day. You all should chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Very, very important for our life. There is nothing beyond this actually. And Prabhupada very beautifully, very simply has given to us. So this topic and this sloka. If you see and if you want to know the conclusion of this, and that is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we have already got. Okay. So you are chanting or not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there is submission and service, inquiries from the learned spiritual master will not be effective. One must be able to pass the taste of a spiritual master every time there is uh, exam also. You give exam in your school na? this taste palana taste taste right so here is also the taste is there but don't worry after this taste you will go ahead even you fail you will get something okay this taste is divine don't compare with that taste he automatically blesses the disciple with genuine spiritual understanding in this verse both blind following and absurd inquiries are condemned Blind following, as I said, I don't want to speak the names, but there are so many names, right? I should prove know so many people, right? Na? So, we should not go in blind following, we should inquire, we should first find the bona fide spiritual master, we surrender to him, we uh, render service to him, also we inquire that what is the spiritual truth. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. In this verse, both both blind following and absurd inquiries are condemned. Not only should one hear submissively from the spiritual master, but one must also get a clear understanding from him in submission and service and inquiries. So only he can give you a clear understanding. So many things, again the same. Therefore, when the student is submissive and is always ready to render service, the reciprocation of knowledge and inquiries become perfect. So I want to give you an example of His Holiness Bhakti Swarup Damodar Swami Maharaj. His name was T.D. Singh. You know? Anybody know him? Okay, he is also a Prabhupada disciple. And he was a scientist actually. So all the time he was asking questions to Srila Prabhupada on the basis of science. So and very beautifully Prabhupada smashed him all his like whatever the query he has he was asking to Srila Prabhupada very very beautifully and every time he was thinking oh like Prabhupada is uh, even Prabhupada by material 
uh, qualification he was not from the science background okay but he still td singh was a scientist and what question he asked prabhupad very beautifully answered him and also as i mentioned prabhupad was not from science back background little background he has from some medical pharmaceutical business and pharmaceutical manager he, he was in a big company actually so we see that if uh, in a bona fide spiritual uh, disciplic succession we are following so so if uh, we find some guru in uh, in bona fide spiritual uh, connection so he can he is able to yeah he would be able to all our question very nicely okay i remember uh, one of uh, his con devotee he went to uh, satya sai baba you you might know also him so so he asked your disciple are telling you that you are god so he what he told you know he told my disciple is telling and just for the uh, sake of just of the happiness of my disciple i don't deny <laughs> okay so he cannot be a guru and this kind of people cannot be a guru okay who is krishna is clearly understanding uh, clearly mentioned in our scriptures and that guru will be able to very very in a clear way can uh, like he will be very clear to tell you that who is krishna and who are us and what is uh, our relation with krishna that is very very clear to him okay so uh, i just want to go through very uh, in a short way at what is this uh, verse about all of so first we have to find a bona fide spiritual master okay so who is a bona fide spiritual master also what is a like some other quality can we discuss about it okay the one who has experienced the spiritual truth the one who has experienced the spiritual truth actually i i have just uh, taken this line from shrimad bhagavatam and also i think prabhupada has mentioned somewhere here that one who has experienced the spiritual truth he can he is only the tattvadarshi and uh, uh, krishna says gyaninas tattvadarshina so we should inquire only from tattvadarshina only okay and the second one is the self realized that is the same person the self realized he knows that who is he and who is krishna and what is the relation between him and krishna and the second is surrender when we find such guru like radhanath maharaj find a guru i gave example this the way like the same time when he he like god is that he is a bona fide he just surrender at the same very same day as i mentioned he was not cutting his uh, i was telling he was not cutting his hair actually he was not cutting his hair from all the way delhi to yamuna tree and then again all the holy places which so many sadhu was telling him to cut his hair but he was not cutting but the, at the same day when he met prabhupad he said he said here in bombay only this story in the bombay only right so we should learn something <laughs> I, i have me too also so surrender okay this is not that you just shaved your head it means you are surrender <laughs> <laughs> later i thought oh what am i doing <laughs> okay so then inquiry you sh- you have to inquire in the same way as Ar- arjuna inquired to shri krishna in the battlefield of kurukshetra he in- he inquired that oh what should i do so and also earlier we see that krishna was a friend of arjuna but in the second chapter uh, arjuna mentioned that i, I am uh my body is uh, trembling that verse is there so uh now i am surrender to you please please uh, advise me what to do and then render service that is very important now you are surrender and now you have to render the service so that is also very important whatever your guru is telling you have to do that so krishna is telling now then you are when you are following these things then the knowledge the transcendental knowledge he can impart in your heart like your guru can impart in your heart and then you can easily ask question you can easily inquiry about the spiritual truth so this is the path of spiritual realization so this was topic 
and uh, I was also uh, thinking that uh, this, uh, like this Tattva Darshi, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, like bona fide spiritual master, this Tattva Darshi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says in Chaitanya Charita Amrit, Kiva Vipra Kiva Shudra Nyasi Kene Haya, Jai Krishna Tattva Vita Sai Guru Haya. Even after coming to Krishna consciousness, we think, oh, he is from somewhere else, he is from this caste, he is from low background or something like that. So once who knows Krishna, one who chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, he is the Tattva he is known, he, he has seen the truth. He has known the real spiritual knowledge. He has got the message actually. So then we don't have to, what do we Okay, because he has the now in the right proper attitude for the spiritual realization. So after coming to Krishna consciousness, we don't have to see this. Uh, example has given in the Chaitanya Charitamrita only the example of Haridas Thakur. He was from a Muslim background family and he was chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra vice. 22 hours a day, by his gante. Okay, so we are not able to chant even two hours, and he was chanting 22 hours. So later on, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him the title of Nama Acharya, Acharya of Nam. He is our Acharya. So that also we have to see from this verse that we, like I got actually, that we also we have to take care about that. Uh, when we uh, start practicing our spiritual uh, practice, then we think that, oh, like I said, like uh, maybe uh, we think like, oh, he, he doesn't know something and he's just coming from two days only. He's very younger than me. He has not a good qualification by material, uh, by material position. So that we don't have to see. And also we see. Okay, this name you might know all of you. And this is Amarendra Prabhuji, you know? He is very young. He is almost similar to us. Maybe one, two year gap, maybe somebody. But how he speak? He speak our, all the philosophy in very nice way and in a very, you know, in a very, uh, in the way where we listen to it, right? So that we cannot do, uh, we should not do. The one who has uh, the message of Krishna consciousness, he is above all. Okay. So that is, uh, I just want to say, and if uh, anybody of you have any question and comment, you can ask. Okay. Please forgive my, uh, for my, this 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. नहीं नहीं क्वेश्चन आंसर तो हमको करना पड़ेगा लाइक यू पीपल हैव डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस हम्म 